Saturday, September the 23rd, 2023, I posted 4,800, or 4,086. It's called Polytonality. It's a longer one. I find out that harmonic convergence seems first and foremost to point to a big first meditation on peace in August of 1997. That there is a musical equivalent, but the stress seems to be on this massive world peace event involving meditation with Mayan and astrological influence. I like the Mayan connection in this, and, and find some examples of this event or others like it in Peru. I'm surprising. I'm unsurprisingly thinking of a way to classify something that transpires between two people, one in San Francisco, and one in Peru. Human beings who have known each other quite intimately yet wholly virtually for nearly four years. These people are very special to each other yet have not managed to meet in person yet, thanks to COVID at first, and now a binding lack of funds. It needs to happen soon, it will, this initial meeting in person, but one thing that the virtual nature of their long-term relationship, one in which they are constantly communicating, or daily so, often speaking to each other via video conference once or twice or three times a day, almost never does a day go by that they do not see each other, one thing from the time together they have spent is clear. There's love. There's a great deal of intimacy. And there's a heightened sense of many things that occur via their engagement with each other that would likely, not normally, say if they lived in the same city, happen to each other in material and physical ways that both, or at least one of the two, think of as the norm, they would not have the easy capacity to notice. These are the things that build a more resounding love, an, anticipat an anticipatory love, a stronger desire, a perhaps more elongated magnetism of libidos, ready to be conjoined in as many elaborate, normal, and experimental fashions as can be imagined. These are not all realistic, but are potentially each and all quite possible. The mind is open to such variety, such physical and quiet moments together, the likes of which, at least in one of their lives, which has been blessed with such a replete variety of so-called love, has lived with many loves for various periods of time, and has never had a love for this extended amount of time without one physical face-to-face -face meeting, no one-on-one -on -one encounters besides through individual computer screens, barrages of text messages, videos that range from those that would be considered cardinal, mischievous, to the completely innocuous. The assessment that has always been that this is an obstacle-ridden relationship one that neither had ever considered in the past, one that even poked fun at such, e one that even poked fun at such when friends or acquaintances were in them, thinking them more one-sided, more intermittent, perhaps more of a side gig or an extramarital or extra committal thing. Now, Karma has found this fellow, who is now in what might be the most serious relationship of his life, given the fact that they have met each obstacle with very little anguish always with this most magnetic desire to finally and resoundingly meet. I imagine one musical chord that is at such odds with another, one representing one of these men, say, the one that lives in the upper hemisphere of this place called Earth, overlapped with a totally and seemingly incompatible sound chord, representative of the gentleman living in the southern hemisphere, some southern hemisphere, one on top of the other, with perhaps a bit of movement in which one of them is more front and center, flowing into sections in which the other chords melodic more pronounced and the resulting music is or elicits giddiness an earnest love and an intense desire such that would and will bring the two men together or such that from listening to the two one could obviously even from outside looking in knowing nothing at all about each individual that they will be drawn together that there's literally no choice but for this to happen that only the loss of life could possibly come between this inevitability. I am on their side. I choose for both of them life and a wealth of time in order to experience all that can be experienced within and by such a love, such a connection from now until they do, hopefully and soon, find themselves in the very same room and especially henceforth from that moment. The many adventures and the exceedingly beautiful life that each will lead, both individually and together after they meet, my wish for them is that this far exceeds any idea, any expectation in which either has ever had regarding the value and the joy and the adventure that lies before them. And this journey will bring a contentment and a joy 
many joys, an overarching joy, an unrivaled engagement and connection, and that they will never wind their lives down from this ongoing experience. And once parted, we'll know that their experience was the best that any two people might have, the pleasure of living. That day will come soon enough, and when it does, no bounds will keep them from this.